Welcome, everybody, to the Black Canyon City Show. It's December 4th, 2023. A lot of people don't know exactly who I am, which that's good. Um, however, I think I should tell you a little bit about myself. So, I moved here and to Arizona in 2003, moved up north 2004, moved here in 2008 to Black Canyon City. It's a really beautiful place to live. Love this place. Like the people a lot. They have treated me really well. Everybody's a smile and a handshake. I love it. So a few years back, my mom died. Which, God rest her soul, she was a great woman to me. She was my mom. And she had some medical issues to do with uh, throat cancer, thyroid cancer and such. And it, and it got to the point to where it was just everywhere. Ten years ago, and this is before we knew she had cancer, uh, she started telling me that she was agreeing to disagree with my siblings. Me and my mom, I don't think we ever really had a disagreeing word ever. I mean, we all look at things and go, well, that makes sense, or that doesn't make sense. You know? I mean, we never really agreed to disagree on anything. We kind of, if it was true, it was true, and if it was a lie, it was a lie. It was pretty cut and dry. But all of a sudden, 10 years after living... Um, under my brother's wing because my dad had died she needed help and she chose him my brother to do this task which was to take care of her until she died <clears throat> um, so five years into it I started to question her like uh, what do you exactly mean agree to disagree it sounds like a bad deal I mean how can you hang around somebody you totally can't trust. If you're disagreeing with someone, what are you disagreeing about? I understand some things. I mean, there's a thousand ways to skin an animal. I was going to say cat, but that might <laughs> offend the cat people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that on purpose anyway. Uh, so, I'm not one of those that's going to agree to disagree. If it's wrong, it's blatantly wrong. I'm not going to agree to it. And that's what she was doing. Uh, my brother seemed to think that you know, he didn't care about my sisters anymore or anything. He didn't really care about much. I mean, he called my mother that woman. Hmm. Onwards, my mom was a good mom. She did her best. And she did her best for him. And he should have had a little more respect for her. Long story short, my mother dies, and she didn't have anything. It wasn't like she was a, a well-off woman. But we got a check for $1,000 a piece. <laughs> I remember my brother telling her, oh, they're after the money. What money? Anyway, that's all over now. And I've moved to this town. There's a bunch of beautiful people. When that happened, that was right around COVID or coronavirus time. And it got really ugly around this country. And I decided, wow, what am I doing? I, I did my civic duty. I voted. But that's not my civic duty. My civic duty would be to actually pursue like a, an office or something. That's what we were all supposed to do. We're all supposed to spend a couple years of our lives once we've made our way, um, been successful or not, and, and actually got into an office space. It shouldn't be a political thing like it is today. It should be a duty um, instead of gain. It's not for gain. It's, it's for a service to the other people in the country, kind of like our military men. Uh, our military men deserve to get the best of everything because they defend this country. 
There's some who try to cheat this country that act like they're military and they're not. I know there are those people out there too. But I'm talking about the general fighting men. The, the men down at the VFW, those men, they fought hard, hard, scary battles, scary battles. And they walked away to tell about it, you know. And they deserve our backing. They deserve our, our honesty and our love, our caring for them, for what they've done. Uh, I mean, our own government should too, but we don't control that like we should yet. I was told, because I was listening, by a man who said uh, there was a guy named Eric running guns from Arizona. Sure, sure enough, that's exactly what happened. It's gone through, and they've even deemed it to be a bad act. You can't do that <clears throat> in a political office, no matter what you are or who you think you are. I mean, not according to our Constitution, anyway. So all these bad actors, this guy comes out and whistleblows, and he says, man, <laughs> they're lying to you, all of you. And so he comes out after he retires, and he comes out again and states, look, it starts here at the local community. I thought about that. I thought, you know, I, I have a hard time with my own family. I get along better with my brothers and sisters from this community than I've ever gotten along with anybody. I love you guys. This is a great town. A lot. So my determination is to do something even if it's just to sit here and talk to you. I want to do something to better this community. There's some infighting here in this town, just like anywhere else. It's, it's everywhere. They, they taught it to us. They forced it down our throats. They want us to be at each other's throat. You're this, that guy's this, and hey, look over there what they're doing. Never looking in the mirror and going, you know what? How about a kind word to my fellow man today? Just a kind word. Yeah, You don't know if you had a bad day and you're driving down the road and you flip somebody off, if that person doesn't go home and shoot themselves. You don't know. It's called a ripple effect. And so we should have kind words for our brethren, brothers and sisters. When I say brethren, I'm, I'm all of humanity. And granted, there's some out there who do not believe that. They believe that there's a good side and a bad side, and some are this way and some are that way, and that is that. I don't believe that. I believe everybody has a, a way to change. It's called waking up every morning in America. If you live here in America, you live in the greatest country on this planet, and you have a choice. You have a choice to wake up and go, you know what? I'm not going to be that dirt bag I was yesterday. I'm going to change who I am. Now, if you're breaking the law and committing really bad acts of violence towards humanity, then you deserve to be hung. But if you just told somebody to go pound sand because you were having a bad day, that's all forgivable. All that's forgivable. That's simple stuff in life that we should all understand that <laughs> we all have bad days. We all do. Every one of us. Some of us need a wall to throw it against. That brings me to my next segment, Your Two Cents. Why don't you come on the show? I'll make you a cup of coffee. It will be a good cup of coffee. Uh, sweet, not sweet, black, iced. If you want it ice cold, I'll make it ice cold. I don't care. It's fine. It's your coffee cup. And we'll, we'll look out the window, and we'll have a conversation. Um of whatever you want to talk about. And talking is the first step to getting a resolution. If we weren't taught that, you should know that. Talking is the best way to get to an end resolution. Especially in a community. Everybody kind of needs to talk together and say, hey, yeah, that's a great idea. Why don't we uh, clean up the whole neighborhood? I mean, we got the it, that's just an idea. It doesn't mean that's what we're going to do. It's just that's kind of a, you have that idea. Somebody down the street has the idea. They get together. They do something. Uh, look at the water board over there uh, on the west side. 
they have they have done something. They are writing letters. They're doing something, and they're not sitting on their hands. Kudos. Kudos. I respect you. Hey, one of you guys want to come on. The phone number is 602-419-0060. You can call us. We'll schedule you in. We're going to start doing that stuff on January 1st. We'll be our first full-length show. Uh, we're wow. going to try to get a full-length show going one way or another. So, anyway, on that note, 602-419-0060. Give us a call. You can text us. If you want to be anonymous, you can just let us know what you want to say. We'll even throw in a little segment of that. We'll write it down on the screen, or you can screenshot it from what you've written and what you want to show on the show. We'll do a little, like a little, um, little board, a bulletin board we can flash on the screen, and, and everybody can look at it. Ideas are great. Anybody has one, open. Um, so, on that note, we're going to ship you over to... The beautiful Beth Louise. How are we doing today, Beth? I'm doing fine, Ian. Thank you. Yeah, you're not even a crack of a smile. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. Um, How are you doing today? Good. Good? Good. Yeah. Weather's nice. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful It's day. Arizona. It is. Almost ah. 300 days of sunshine here. <laughs> At least. Right? <laughs> At and then least. when it's raining, it's just, it's been a really good rain. We had yes. good rains this year. And yes. A little bit last year. But yeah, so. It okay. makes it nice for the green. Sure does. Well, we got some events at the uh, VFW when you were talking about the soldiers. And the VFW post 1796. Today has poker between the hours of 5 and 7. On December 6th, they have a paint and sip there. 5 p.m. it starts, $25. On December 8th, they have their famous uh, dinner, Friday night dinner with meatloaf. Friday, Friday night meatloaf. Mm -mm. They sold out. They've been selling out. Yes. It's, been a, it's been a big hit, uh, and everybody's really enjoyed that. Yes. Get there early. And December 9th is our biggest event at the VFW. It's the uh, annual gala. It's put on by the Republican women of Black Canyon City. It's a uh, dinner. It's uh, bar time at 5.30. is uh, cash bar. 6.30 is the dinner, a 50-50 raffle, silent auction, entertainment. So it, it's uh, well worth going. Tickets are on sale. How much are those? Uh, don't know the price of the tickets. I did not okay. see that. We'll get back to you on that. Yeah. Well, wait, if I you have any won't. questions, there's uh, phone numbers. If you need the phone numbers, just uh, let us know. We'll give them to you. Okay. Uh, also, uh, <laughs> yeah, going on is we have weekly events here at the VFW. We have a, a young band called David Allen and the VFW band. <laughs> I'm going to mess it up for good. <laughs> We've We're been talking good. about the name, and I, I go David Allen in the VFW band, and some people say the VFW band, so it's one of them. But anyway, <laughs> all these guys volunteer, give their time freely to entertain everyone there. It's open to the public. It's a grand time. Uh, it's... Uh, you can buy drinks, you can go out on the patio, so enjoy that. And that's every Wednesday at 6.30. Then, to make it complete, on uh, Saturday afternoon from 3 to 6, there's karaoke with INJ. That, it's a that's, fun, that's effective karaoke. Effective isn't? karaoke. It is very effective karaoke there. Seems to be. And we even uh, had Leaf sing. Yes, Leaf sang. He's a, he's a local gentleman, great guy, Bug beautiful catcher. voice. Loves catching bugs. Yes. Yeah, Leaf Leaf is quite the character. He's he did you know he's he's an artist? 
Did you no, know I that? No, I did not know that. I didn't either, and I found that out the other day, and I, it would blew me away. Um, and, and then when he sang, it just... Oh. <laughs> That was like, oh my goodness! Brought oh my tears goodness. to people in the uh, room. Quite a few people there. They, yeah. They, yeah, we were all just kind of taken back by it. It was wonderful. It was really beautiful. Actually. Yes, it is. I so, hear. we it. have uh, we have a lot going on at the VFW, and it's it's really a uh, a place that they're doing a lot of improvements there. Did you see that in that back room? Yeah. They're getting some improvements done. Dining um, room. cleaning it up. The, the bathroom there and the kitchen's getting done. Yes. Um, it all needed to be done. The gas line uh, has been thoroughly inspected, and they have found a few leaks and have repaired them. So that's in the process of getting done. And uh, then you have that beautiful fire outside on the patio you can sit by. Yes, Gorgeous. It, that, it comes up through the glass. Yeah. Yeah, and burns a, uh, what do they call those? The the. There was a truck out there. We looked at the truck, and you asked me what those were. Yeah. Uh, I can't re think of what I can't they remember were. either, but it's nice and warm when you're watching the band. It sure is. You can dance. You can sing. You can do whatever you want to do. Yep. It is beautiful. It is uh, beautiful out there with that on, especially if it's like 30 degrees out. Yeah. Having that, having <laughs> that, that on, it nice. keeps your backside Well, luckily, around. there's an inside, too. So. Yeah. That, yeah. that is true. So we have our local steakhouse, Shalene's on 17, where they make some good food. They have some good ribs. Their authentic original barbecue sauce is, I don't know, I love it. Uh, we, we get them dry and then dip them piece by mm. piece. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Very good. And then our dog, Jack, um, he, he's, he's a funny little character. There he is. Uh, yeah, he, uh, yeah, you can hear him. You can uh, trick Jack if you do certain little things. Uh, I wish I had my laser. I'd make him go over to the camera. Actually, we can do this. We can take you, uh, there we go. Look, there's your buddy, little buddy. All right. Yeah, so, hey, we found Jack. Look at Jack. He's a curious little puppy. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Well, he's not. Now it's trying to follow him. That's funny. <laughs> All right. So uh, he's ended up here. Huh? Hi, bud. Oh, hi. He seems to do that to everybody. He likes everybody. He's a lovey. Animals and He kind of takes after his master. Mm. <laughs> well, now, come on. We do. Don't laugh at me. We're trying to promote... We like everybody. You can't laugh we at that. We do love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Just <funny>. like Jack. <laughs> I'm Henri, is I think what she's laughing at. It's, yeah, that's yes, all it he is. is and he's Henri. This guy is Henri right here. Yes, right he Jack. is. Yes, he is. He's but you can meet player. Jack if yep. you come and come on the yeah, show. Yeah, we bring him down and, and uh, yep. let him meet and lick everybody. He likes everybody. He's a good boy. Yes, he is. Okay. All right. Well. We are done for the day. Uh, we're a little late. I still have a cup of coffee, but it's not my morning cup. We're going to try that soon. We've uh, we've been doing a little project, Beth. Let's fill them in on that just a little bit sure. to keep the show going. Um, what have we been doing? Well, we're going green. We're going green. That's a good way to put it, green, because uh, what? Dogs talk. So... We, we want to make a Jack. point of not spending a lot of money on electricity, for God's sakes, right? That's correct. And you've done a lot of things here to try to prevent that. And after a few years have gone by, we have uh, had an increase of, well, solar isn't that good anymore. And it's not because solar isn't any good. It's it's because of what they've AP, APS uh, specifically has done. They have uh, massaged the energy that you make, and then massaged how much you get back should you have gotten a lease. Now, a lot of people have gotten leases, and they thought it was all good, and their dollars it was zero. The power bill was zero. They paid $130 to $180 for their solar panels a month for, 
God knows how many years, 10 year lease. How long is the lease, Beth? Uh, eight, mine's eight, I think. You have an eight year mm -hmm. lease, eight years, huh? Well, that's interesting. Okay, so uh, it's it's all right. It's all right. You know um, me in memory. Yeah. Well, it's not the memory. It's, it's what APS is doing, and what they're oh, doing is. is is massaging the energy away from you. Now, I have yet again spoken to a few people that know um, about solar uh, industry, and they have said the exact thing. Now, not officially. But at dinner, they have said, look, they're not for you. They will not give you any power for free. They can charge you. Wait a minute. They charge you how much a kilowatt? Do you know? Is it like 2 to $5, something yes. like that, a kilowatt? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm talking on it my changes, butt there. It changes, yeah. But I do know one thing I'm not talking on my butt. They can all, you, they only have to pay you 18 cents a kilowatt. That's insane. It should be free. Well, at that point, yeah. I, rem I remember reading uh, something about the Three Palo, time. Verde, yeah. Palo Verde power plant, and they stated, well, the power in Arizona is going to be pretty much free because they'll have the world's largest nuclear power plant, right. and, and it'll provide all the power. And look right now, it's some of the most expensive power ever. And it's just stupid I got how blind everybody has been. I, me too. I, I was like, what the heck? So anyway, that's why we're going green. And uh, we've had a couple cold, cold mornings because the batteries didn't quite hold out long enough. Uh, we managed to break out our coffee. We got our <laughs> coffee in. That was good. Uh, but it was a cold few hours towards the uh, early morning there. Um but that's getting rectified. Yeah. So as soon as this system is pretty much installed and running and working, that I can say it's working correctly, we'll, we'll show you pictures of it and show you what we did. And uh, see if it's a worthwhile investment for you guys in the future. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I know buying it through APS sure isn't, but doing it by yourself, it's probably a worthwhile thing to cut APS off the uh, teat. And yeah, it's funny, they still charge you 45 a month to have the power to your property. That's why we need to get together in this community. We, we all need to talk about it. You know, if the whole community did it, what are they going to do? Cut us off? Really? No, they'll negotiate. That's something, Beth. Beth does that very well. Don't you, Beth? Yes, I do. <laughs> Beth negotiates with everybody on every bill and always knocks it down. It doesn't matter what it is. And she does it just automatically. And it's times where I'm thinking, well, it's well worth that money. And she's like, heck no, I'm not, I'm not paying that much. <laughs> you know, and you're like, well, it's worth the 50 cents, but if you want to knock them down to five, I guess it's, it's good for you, you know. And she does it. She, she knocks it right on down to almost nothing, and she's got a knack for that. I, I do not. Um, no, he pays top dollar for everything. <laughs> no, well, not, not really. top. I mean, come on. Now. I do a little research to find out what I want. Well, he and researches what works. the product. I mean, if you want good sound, what do you buy? Well, you, yeah. you buy a good speaker. That's all yeah. there is to it. You know, you you want sound to sound good. You don't necessarily want to knock them over. You know, uh, I guess if you're at a concert hall, that's what you want. But when you're doing your small um, venues, you just need it to sound good. Yeah. You know, so you pay for that. And yeah. yeah, you you do pay for that. <laughs> I guess you do pay for that. But it's all good. It's all good. Hey, we love you guys. We love you, Black Canyon. So we hope you like the show. We hope it gets better for you and less painful. <laughs> we do, too. You have we're we're hoping to be on before you guys go to work, not uh, <laughs> after you get home. So anyway, you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow with, uh, with a morning cup. Till then, I'm going to stop recording and say lovey. Such is life. Bye. Bye. <laughs>